the race by Grins here at Cambridge Raceway and uh, always back the first person you run into, John Goomans. So, um, that, that could be a, a, a little bit of a worry because I think you said you're the rank outsider. But firstly, uh, welcome to Cambridge Raceway. Thank you very much. Yeah, it's great to be here. I had a little chat with you uh, just said before we before we started, and um, the excitement level about the race tonight and the race by Grins, um, it's pretty high. You were saying that you know that's the main reason you're ticking it off your bucket list. Basically, one of the reasons you wanted to race horse here was uh, to be here on the night, uh, you know, million dollar race night. Yeah, it gave me an excuse to come up, and um, like I've always wanted to see a million dollar race. I've seen them on telly, not the same as being here. So, yeah, now. Bucket, it's ticked off the bucket list, or so it will be ticked off the bucket list, so yeah, quite excited. All right, a little bit about yourself. You've got, uh, what do we call her, Groovy Lamore, um, beautifully bred uh, chestnut mare um, in race one, but you said she's a bit of an outsider, she's going to need a, a fair bit of luck, but how many horses do you work? Oh, I'm only working two at the moment, um, uh, her and, a, and an art major building. Um, yeah, uh, Whiskey on the Rocks, which is quite aptly named, so yeah. You might have one after the, after the race later on. Might have two. <laughs> you might have to have a grins. Well, I might. Yes, yeah, that'd be fun. Um, how long have you been in the industry for? Oh, since 1981, 82. Yeah. Uh, mm. And you love it? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I, I took a 12-year break, um, and uh, then my son wanted me to come back into the game so he could get involved with horses and. And that's what we did. Something addictive about the game, isn't it? The why we keep getting caught in it. Yeah, there's something in the blood, eh? It just makes you want to come back and keep going and keep going and keep going. I think it's a dream. If you don't have a dream, you're wasting your time. No, that's exactly that's exactly right. Can Groovy win tonight? Like, can she if she puts her best foot forward? Could she win? Oh, I don't think there's a lot of very good horses in there. I don't think she could win, but I'd be really, really wrapped if she was in the first five. Yeah, and uh, yeah, from there, you, what do you prefer better, the trotters or the paces? I enjoy them both. Uh, you can't sit on the splint fence. In Australia, we call that splinters. You get splinters, you sit on the fence. You've got to, you've got to have one or the other. Oh, I suppose, actually, to be fair, I, I enjoy the trotters. Uh, there, there's just something special about them. Yeah, I must say, and I know there's a good race caller in Australia, Lockie McIntosh. He, uh, he loves a chestnut, love you, so he'll have a soft spot for her anyway. Don't you worry about that. But, John, thanks for having a chat with me. Uh, thanks for showing your enthusiasm too. I mean, I, I think it's great. Would you say you're going to take the horses back and then come back and enjoy the festivities of the night? Of course, you've got the, uh, the Waikato Mile on um, before the race before mm. the trots. There's some great trotters in that as well. Oh, so yeah. super night of racing here towards the end of the night, isn't it? Oh, it's, it's, yeah, it's just... Well, it's just overwhelming, really. Yeah, yeah. it's yeah. going to be brilliant. I love it. Love the passion, mate. And uh, hopefully Groovy puts her best foot forward and does the right thing by you. But uh, hopefully you enjoy the rest of the night, mate. And uh, uh, thank you very much for joining me. No, thank you.